Jerry James Stone and you're watching Cooking Stone. Today's recipe is going to be a caramelized butternut squash. I love butternut squash. It's one of those things that as soon as winter comes around, I'm making butternut squash gnocchi, butternut squash ravioli, and sometimes I just want a simple butternut squash dish. So here it is. Butternut squash that's been caramelized, it's a perfect side, but you can also do some fun things with it. Like I'm actually going to make a recipe later on where I fold it into some ice cream. I also want to make note of the sweatshirt that I'm wearing, as it's the only thing that I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this sweatshirt from my friend Dave Lauren, who actually was the inspiration for my cookingstone.tv blog. He was the one that told me, hey, you need to do this, told me why and how and all that stuff, and thanks to him, Cooking Stone's been doing great. So. This is a sweatshirt from his company, which is one block off the grid, and I just want to say thank you, Dave. I'm going to go ahead and trim up the butternut squash and prepare it for roasting. Now we're going to go ahead and peel the butternut squash. Now that it's peeled, we're going to cut the butternut squash into quarters so we can remove the seeds and then eventually cube them. I know it's customary to throw out the seeds from a butternut squash, but you actually can roast them just as you would pumpkin seeds. So you don't have to discard them. You can toast them and put them on top of your soup or eat them like pumpkin seeds. You don't have to discard them. Now let's scoop out those seeds because we do not want them in this recipe. But like I said, you do not have to throw them away because we do not like food waste here at Cooking Stoned. Now we're gonna cut the squash into about one inch cubes and prep them for caramelizing. I don't know if you've ever had this dish, but or had caramelized squash before, but it's quite lovely and I think you're gonna really enjoy it. So we're gonna add our brown sugar to the potatoes. Now let's add in the melted butter. And let's add a little bit of salt. Now we wanna make sure that this butternut squash is completely covered with the brown sugar and butter. You could mix it with a spoon, but honestly, I think it's just best to do it with your hands. Like, go in there and work the butternut squash and butter mixture and brown sugar around until it's all completely covered. Of course, you wanna wash your hand before doing this. Once you get everything nice and covered in brown sugar, we're going to roast these in the oven so they caramelize at about 400 degrees uh, for about 20 minutes or maybe, maybe 40 minutes. And you want to toss them every now and then just so they brown evenly on each side. Enjoy. Enjoy. 